I'm really interested to see what happens in the SEC title game, which has been set for a couple of weeks now, and what was going to happen with both Alabama and Georgia leading up to that game. Well, we got an answer. Number eight, Alabama stuns Auburn 27 to 24. This game was dramatic from the word go. Auburn muffs a punt, puts Alabama in great field position. You can't advance a muff punt. They pick up the ball. They do something with it. Jalen Milrow, my goodness, what a game that guy had. And it, it was up and down. It was truly a Jalen Milrow experience where you're just on the train, man. That dude was just as likely to take a bad sack as to throw the ball past the line of scrimmage, as to get the ball snapped over his head, and then step back on a fourth and goal from the Auburn 31 yard line to be just toe tapping his feet and finding Isaiah Bond in the back of the end zone for what ended up being the game winning touchdown in this game. Dramatic from start to finish and really back and forth in a way that I did not expect because as much as the Iron Bowl goes into, well, it's a rivalry game, you got to throw all that stuff out. I hate that as an explanation because I'm looking at an Auburn team that got really showed out shown up by New Mexico State last week, putting money in the bag in a loss 31-10 to 10, right there at Jordanair, where Alabama needed to come from behind as the number eight team in the country to beat Auburn. I was also an Auburn team that had Georgia on the ropes September 30th. Perhaps it's just that Auburn only gets up for the teams that are expected to beat them and not for the ones that they are expected to beat. But for Alabama, you not only need to win this game because it's a rivalry game, because this is... This is Ohio State, Michigan in the South, right? Or I might even say Ohio State, Michigan is Auburn, Alabama, north of the Mason-Dixon line. It's also any chance you had of making the college football playoff rested on this game as well. Because if you lose this game to Auburn, no two-loss team is getting into the college football playoff with a conference championship or not. You need to go in there with the one loss and possibly be the team to knock off Georgia. And that would mean you're the first team to beat Georgia in three years. And that would do more than enough to get you into the college football playoff, if not vault you into the number one spot going into the college football playoff. Milrow went 16 to 24 for 259, 107 rush yards on the ground, two TDs. I think his Heisman Trophy aspirations are still intact as well. These numbers, while not as comparable to what, <laughs> my goodness, we, we've we seen Jaden Daniels do some things here, right? We'll talk about that a little bit later on. But what Jalen Milrow has been able to do over the last six, seven, eight games for Alabama, I don't think you can ignore. I'm also looking at Tommy Reese, who might end up in that conversation for the Broyles Award, along with Will Stein at Oregon, if not for what Sharon Moore had done at Michigan, biggest game of his life, acting head coach for the last three games. I think he's pretty much sewn that thing up. He certainly got my vote. And for... Nick Saban, this was huge. I'm reminded once again that Miss Terry said a couple weeks ago it's going to be tough to beat Auburn. And at the time, Alabama still got to get past Kentucky. Alabama still got to get past Chattanooga. Why are you thinking about Auburn? Because you're always thinking about Auburn. Auburn was certainly thinking about Alabama and had to feel really great going into the final three minutes of that game until it all came apart right in front of their eyes. And they won and, excuse me, they lost in only a fashion that Auburn football could lose in or I'm sure Auburn fans feel that way, but they're going bowling. They came back. They made a fight. I think you can go forward thinking, okay, we can be a good football team in 2024. We're right there on the cusp with the SEC West division champs and possibly the SEC champs. We'll see if Alabama has what it takes to knock off Georgia, but if the Georgia football team we've seen for the last three weeks shows up in the SEC title game in Atlanta, I don't know, man. What we saw from Alabama is not going to be good enough to knock off that team. They just keep coming and coming. If you like what you've seen, consider subscribing to the number one college football show on YouTube, the Fox Sports app, or wherever you get your podcast.